Exhale, everybody. Exhale. We did it. The finish line is right in front of us. The finish line of 2020, we can taste it. We did it together. DGR strong through the craziness of 2020. Together, we worked hard. We inspired each other. We didn't give up. Uh, we supported each other when it was crazy out there in the world, when races were being canceled. We did it. 2021 is almost it's, it's right there. We can almost reach out and grab it, but not before a quick little uh, trip down memory lane. All right, so that is today's vlog. I'm telling you, everyone, the negativity in the world, the anger in the world, the, the just the, oh, the tension, the anxiety. It was, at an, it was at a level that I don't think I've ever experienced in my 35 years on this earth and probably for many of you out there as well, have never seen a year like 2020. But again, uh, even though we went through the, tum the tumult, even though we went through the ringer, I think we stayed strong together as runners down in the comments, on the Facebook group, over on Instagram with a hashtag, Demore Global Running, inspiring each other, working hard, even today, even today, on the Facebook group, a story like this one on your screen pops up just to help us, all of us. Remember, let's keep turning that doorknob as we end 2020, thankfully, and begin 2021. This gentleman's story, absolutely inspiring. So as we make this transition, let's ask, I'm gonna ask the question of the day right now. And also, again, throw it back to some old clips from 2020, because it wasn't all negative, okay? There were some highlights, there were some positive mo moments that we were all able to share here on YouTube. Question of the day, what was your highlight from the entire journey uh, that we had and shared together here on YouTube, okay? What was the moment that stood out to you here on this YouTube channel? And perhaps even more importantly, uh, for question of the day part two, what are you hoping for in 2021 on this YouTube channel? All right, thank you for answering. Here we go. Let's dive in. Yes, right here in the studio, about 365 days ago, we began the renovation of the studio. How's that? Now, we're not done yet. Right, we're not done yet. <laughs> They haven't. She, our YouTube family hasn't Whoa, seen it yet. I'm totally helping. Isn't this? Isn't He's this totally cool? Helping. He's totally helping. This is amazing. Isn't it cool? It's doing like you're transporting. Boom! Back to the future, it's, or yeah, or into, into the, the future. future, into the future. Oh, no, remember we go put it back. Go put it back. Wow. So, not too shabby. That is incredible. Okay, here we go. A little countdown. Three, two. One, and welcome to the new studio. There it is. Oh my goodness, everybody. It's just crazy. Like I used to have my lawnmower in here, my weed eater, my saws. I still have some saws in here, but here's the shelving. Here's the backdrop. Of course, a little neon green lighting to uh, get, a little, get a little pizzazz going in here. And once that was complete, oh my goodness, just as, yes, things were getting a little crazy in the world with the onslaught of the pandemic before travel was canceled i hopped on an airplane and went to atlanta georgia and filmed the olympic marathon trial.
let's not forget, yes, a new member of the DGR family entered the world, baby Henry. Ah, oh, who could forget this little guy coming on the scene? Little did he know what he was being born into in 2020, but there he is, proud mama, proud baby Henry. Oh, definitely the highlight of my year. And just as COVID-19 began to take over all of our lives and shut down economies around the world, DGR Strong rallied for those who lost their jobs and literally did not know how they were gonna pay their rent, pay their mortgage. We ended up, yes, running 50 miles together and raising, well, here's the, here's the clip. One more lap. One, One more lap. Man. Okay, we're gonna do this. Spread the word. We got one more. We got one more. You're amazing. It hurts. Ow. It hurts. It hurts something fierce. Woo! One more. That's right. We raised over $50,000 for those in need, for those folks who simply could not pay their bills could not pay their rent, and were on the verge of getting evicted and kicked out of their homes. So, I mean, I don't know, that's, I mean, that's really close to the top of my list as far as highlights here on this YouTube channel in 2020. But again, and in addition, just as all of our races around the world were beginning to be canceled, we rallied together for the DGR Virtual Marathon, Half Marathon, 10K, and 5k actually who out there participated in the first inaugural dgr virtual races or oh, from germany seek beauty work hard and love each other <laughs> And the question becomes, do we do another DGR virtual racing series in 2021? Hmm, something to ponder. Let me know down in the comments. But with all of my races being postponed or canceled in the early summer months, we're talking June and July, that's when I made the pivot to the FKT. <laughs> Thank you, 106. So as to try and avoid any stagnant uh, content here on YouTube, I decided to try and innovate as best as I thought possible with the first ever Matrix We're block. gonna go back to Hoka for a long run high cushion shoe, the Hoka Elevon 2. Hoka Elevon 2, early 2020 long run shoe, um, Once a couple races returned to the scene, we flew the W a couple times up at Kendall Mountain in Silverton and also at Rendezvous up in Wyoming, just on the cusp of Ice Peak.
exactly exactly one hour to the top can't can't hang around joseph's right behind me he's got longer legs for the downhill Woo. this is a doozy okay snow kendall mountain kendall mountain may have won this battle oh man i fell about two miles from the finish pretty good it got me yeah bud Oh yeah, he's, he's PR in the ascent. Go set! Hit it! Oh Get yeah. Big job, buddy. And although the victory at Pikes Peak was amazing, it was a life goal of mine to win one of those races, either the Ascent or the Marathon, I was to be quickly outdone, yes, by all of you in there, out there, in the world, spreading the word about this YouTube channel as we passed over 100,000 subscribers. And 91. Of all of oh, man. Oh, oh nine to go, man. Nine to go. Nine to go. Nine to go. I wish I could shake everyone's hand, and I wish I could shake the hand of the uh, the 100, 100. Oh, there it is, there it is, we did it! Oh, thank you all, thank you all, we did it! 100,000. And perhaps oh. trumping everything on the channel in 2020, True Love ran her first race in over a decade. Good job, hon. Good job, hon. Good job, hon. There you go, there you go. Kick it in, kick it in. And no wonder, oh. I'm just a little tired and ready to turn that page on 2020 and start a new year, start afresh, uh, staying flexible, okay? I think we've all learned that we just have to stay a little bit flexible as we transition into the new year, not knowing exactly what's gonna happen. And guess what? That just makes us, of course, more mentally strong. Everything that we've gone through over the past 12 months here on this earth and as long distance runners with races canceled and we had to pivot our training and trying to do FKTs and virtual races and you know our gyms being closed down and trying to figure out how to get uh, strength training into our training. Uh, into our training regimen. Uh, so I, I, I foresee, every, I really do foresee a much, much better year in 2021 for all of us uh, in our training, in our racing. And yes, in I believe two days from now, I am gonna publish a vlog all about how to run and race faster in 2021. My key insights that I have learned over the past 365 days because i do know that this channel is a spot for a lot of you out there to learn how can i become a better a better runner a a more joyful runner not um you know not i guess not allowing anxiety to overtake me uh, as I am trying to figure out well, how to deal with COVID, but how to deal with you know, my races being canceled or my training not going off exactly as I would have liked in a training block, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, that's why I'm here. That's why I come out to the, uh, well right now, the freezing studio. And uh, just to talk with you, hopefully share a little insight. And at the end of the day, ah, you know, I wouldn't be standing out here in the cold if you weren't here watching you know, on a consistent basis. So again, as we wrap up 2020, True Love and I, we just wanna say thank you for taking the time to hit play, to comment every now and then on the question of the day and for inspiring me to be a better person, not just to be a better runner, but to truly, truly try and be a better person, okay? That's all, that's all I'm after and you guys are, um, you guys are inspiring me to do that, you know, every day. Now, some days I don't always live up to that, my, my, you know, my own personal standards in that department, but we just keep turning that doorknob and putting one foot in front of the other. Thank you. 
Thank you. I could go on and on about you guys, but I got to call it because I got to go in and yes, edit the vlog. Oh, you guys are the best. We'll toss it to a vlog uh, from 365 days ago, and we're going to reflect on goals from 2020 and moving into 2021 tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. Onward and upward. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.